What's happening folks? Today's video is gonna be a brief one. I want to give back a little bit to the YouTube photography community slash street photography community and kind of share other people's work and channels. And I've got five street photography channels that I think might be better than mine and that you should probably check out and go and subscribe to. And as I go through all of these, if you do go and subscribe to any other channels, go on to one of their videos, tell them I sent you, leave them a comment in the comment section and like their videos or whatever and it'll help these worthy channels to, to grow a bit more. All right, the first channel is Dante Sisofo. Sisofo. I, I probably just butchered his last name. Dante is a street photographer based in Philadelphia. He's been shooting for a, quite a few years, but has only recently started his channel. So he has this backlog of years of experience that he is then bringing into this new channel. He's also very good at articulating his thoughts and his process, uh, especially while he's out on the street. So you get that sort of live chat video type thing where he's like explaining his thoughts and process and what he's looking for while he's actually shooting on the street. It's something that I have never been able to do. I just add a voiceover after and I'm still pretty terrible at that. So check out Dante's channel um, for good street photography POVs in Philadelphia. Channel number two is Dustin Roderick. He is an NYC based street photographer. He is he's, he's friends with Joe Greer and Polly B who each have YouTube channels as well. Dustin is a friend of theirs and you'll often see him and or all of them appear in each other's videos as well. Uh, shoots exclusively on film and a Leica M something. I don't know which one it was. I didn't pay enough attention to that. Uh, he's not posting tutorials or reviews or anything like that. He's just purely documenting his process and putting it out there on the internet. So if you're a fan of Joe Greer and or Polly B, Dustin is a natural progression and another channel to follow for that type of content. Channel number three is Ivan Chow. Ivan is based in Toronto, Canada. I think he was originally based in Hong Kong and recently moved there. And his YouTube videos are these beautifully produced sort of movie-like productions about photography and his process. Even his gear-based unboxing type videos have this nice narrative and story that goes along with them that make them much more than just a homemade looking video. It's very easy stuff to watch, so go and check out Ivan's channel and uh, subscribe as well. Channel number four is Edward Gilbert. Eddie is a Denver-based filmmaker and street photographer. He is far better at video production to, than me and he is the reason why the audio is half decent on my videos now. Something I really like about Eddie's work is the way that he approaches subjects on the street. He seems to do it with such confidence but without him being this sort of brash in your face type person. The first time I met him and the first photo that I ever seen him take was him just walking up to this lady that was perched on the stoop of a store or building and just quietly taking a picture of her. She did see him and he just kind of nodded and said, said how, how are you doing? And walked off. And that picture came out to me, it, it reminded me of a portrait that William Eggleston did. And I, ever since then I was like, that is a great approach to doing it. And I've always admired the way that he did that. So check out Eddie's channel, go and subscribe to him as well. Channel number five is Word on the Street. It's produced by a guy called Tim from Hawaii. He's also the guy who made the recent street photography movie called Fill the Frame. I've actually not seen the movie yet, but I know several people who keep telling me that I need to see it. Either way, as a filmmaker, Tim's YouTube channel is well produced and also kind of hilarious. So definitely worth checking out and probably worth checking out his movie, Fill the Frame as well. So that's just a few of the channels that are out there that I think are worth subscribing to that have smaller audiences than, than myself. And there's loads more. I've got a small list building on my laptop and I might make one of these videos again in the future. And as I said, if you do go and subscribe to any of these channels, leave them a comment, leave them a like on a couple of videos and let them know that I sent you. And just doing that will also help their channel to get pushed to other people on YouTube. 
and um, people who might well want to subscribe to them as well. All right, so that is it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Thank you.